Hello, welcome to Tuesday's edition of Cracking the Cryptic. And on screen we have a puzzle called How or Build Your Own Killer Sudoku by the intriguingly named No Feet McGee. Um, so I'll read the rules of this in a second. I just want to basically say thank you um, to you guys. Uh, we've had an incredible response to our appeal for new patrons of the channel on Patreon. Um, and we have sort of breezed through the targets we were hoping to reach in order to release our our new puzzle hunt um, and well Mark and I have been talking about it and what we've decided to do um, is to add an extra puzzle onto the hunt just to say thank you to you guys and the, the best thing about adding a new puzzle on is that we've actually figured out that it makes the puzzle it makes the hunt more thematically coherent to have this extra puzzle for reasons that hopefully will become apparent once we publish it um, and it, it we really are very pleased with it so um, do ch do look at do look out for it. it won't be it won't be long before it's out it's going through well puzzles one to seven are just going through the final test solver at the moment they have all been tested once already so um, it shouldn't be long before they are confirmed good to go and then we just have to build in this last puzzle which also won't take long because we've got a very good idea about how that's going to work so imminent release of um, the second puzzle hunt that will have featured on the channel um, second Sudoku puzzle hunt I should say and yeah um, huge thanks to all of you and we really really hope you enjoy it um, now let me read out the rules of this puzzle we have normal Sudoku rules apply good in addition there are some unseen killer cages in the grid the size and boundaries of which are to be determined. The given sums in the grid are the sum of all the digits in the cage containing that cell. Digits may not repeat within a cage and cages may not overlap. Unlike in normal killer Sudoku, the cage totals do not necessarily need to be in the top left hand cell of their cage. Right, okay. So if you've ever studied a normal killer Sudoku grid, you may have noticed that the, the, the sort of clue is always in the upper top left hand most uh, cell of the cage. So in this puzzle, that's not necessarily the case. So if we go down to this 18 clue at the bottom here, in a normal killer Sudoku, we would know that this cage must take up just the bottom row of cells in some combination. But in this Sudoku, I think it means we can come upwards. Um, so yeah, obviously in a normal killer Sudoku, the moment the cage went upwards, the clue should normally appear in the uppermost cell. Here it doesn't need to. So that's the only um, only sort of quirk, I guess, of this puzzle. Uh, I suppose with the exception of the fact there are no actual cages in the grid. Um, do have a go yourselves. The feedback from the testers is that this is, an, this is a brilliant puzzle and not monstrously difficult. So I know we do tend to do a lot of very difficult puzzles on the channel, but this one is approachable apparently um, and has some lovely logic. So do have a go to play. You click on the link under the video. And with that, let's get cracking. Um, and the place I'm going to start is there. That must be in a cage totaling one. I can do that and that. That must be in a cage totaling one as well. My headphones are sticking to me. It's a very hot day here in the UK. I'm going to move those. Um, and what now? Right, my eyes are drawn to this cell. So this obviously is a relatively large total. It's got to be a minimum of five cells you need to make 35, given that all the digits in the cage have to be different. You can make 35 with five, six, seven, eight, and nine. But that means, if we look here, this, these two cells provide a sort of gate through which a five cell 35 region would have to pass. It must take this cell. So these two cells must be the same color. I'll try and keep um, colors as distinct as possible um, maybe green is that a good one for that's 43 cage 43 cage that's got to be an eight cell cage um, and we know that because the most important number in a killer sudoku is the number 45 that is what we get when we add up all the digits from one to nine so a 43 cage uh, must you could only be missing a two so it must be an eight cell cage because you can't miss two digits out and make them add up to two. Uh, now, right, the 45 cage has to go one cell higher, look, because otherwise it'll bump into the 26 cage. That means that one's got to go one lower. That one's got to go one lower. Uh, 
Ah, now one thing that has just suddenly worried me was what ha what would happen if those these two cages could they be the same cage under the rules? The given sums in the grid are the sum of all the yeah they could be, but I don't think these fourteens can be the same because fourteen you would need at least five. S well, if you had if you had as many cells as you would need to get from this square to this square and connect them, you can see that's six cells. And that's too many to make 14, even if we include 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6, that adds up to 21. So actually these are distinct cages. Just wondering if there are any other repeated digits in this grid. There's two sixes, they can't possibly connect. I guess the two ones as well. Can't see any others. The thing that would be useful, the thing that would be useful is if, I just wonder, there's a lot of digits in here. If, if all of the given cages, which we now know are separate cages, if these add up to 405, that would be useful. Now, why, why is that useful? Well, it's because um, it's a bit like the logic we talked about earlier. We know the numbers 1 to 9 add up to 45. And I know there are 9 boxes in this Sudoku. So 9 lots of 45. Well, the way to do that quickly is to do 10 lots of 45 and deduct 1 lot of 45 from it. You get 405. So if all of these cages added up to 405, we would know that every cell in this Sudoku was catered for by a cage number and that would be helpful. Um, trying to see where it might be helpful but I'm, I think it would be helpful because we could we would know even the remote squares in the grid like this one. Yeah, uh, one, two, three, four, four. Yes, this square would instantly become important because it can't be reached by the nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It can't be reached by the 36 and it can't be reached by the 43. So it could only be reached by the six. So actually I am going to add up all the digits in the grid. This, oh, this is such a fool's errand in a live video, but I will try and do it. Um, so what have we got here? We've got 40, 50, 70, 80, 110. Uh, what's that? 140, 159, 165, 195. We've got a five. 195, yeah, there, look. So that's 240, 240, 283, 288, 318, um, 318, <laughs> 324, 344, 356, 357. Ah, 357. 363 and I've still got a 42 to go. So 363 plus 42 is 405. We are cooking with gas. So now let's come down here because this cell can only be reached by this six clue. We now know that the, every single cell in this grid is catered for by a clue. So this one can connect to that one. How do we make six and three cells? One, two and three. And all of a sudden, this puzzle becomes different. We're going to be able to scan for different things now. I better highlight the color of those. Uh, I'll make them orange. Um, so, well, that's an interesting square as well, isn't it? That could be reached by the 10 but only if the 10 was 1, 2, 3, and 4, and we've got a 1, 2, 3 in the row. So it could come down like that. Or it could reach, could get, the 22 could get there as well. Can the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, ah, the 30 can't get there because the 30 would need eight cells to get there. And that would imply, given that we know nine cells sum to 45, that one of the cells that was missing was just the digit 15 and 15 doesn't appear in a Sudoku so the 30 doesn't get to that cell. 
the 18 doesn't get there we've already looked at that six cells minimum you can get is 21 we know the row needs to add to 45 that's not going to work 42 40 no 42 needs nine cells to get to there so it has to be one of these two cells that gets to here ah no hang on I've been thinking about this incorrectly look the 22 can't get here because if the 22 gets here how does it do that well if it comes down and goes across those four cells because they can't be one two and three the minimum I could make them would be four five six and seven that adds to 22 already which is suspicious isn't it that's obviously why this is here because this cannot this and this can't be connected that is what this 22 clue is telling us so the 10 must be connected to this cell which means this cell is a 4 and we can't put 1 2 and 3 down here in fact this has to come across the top then that's the only way of connecting this up in four cells so that must be a 1 because we've got ones up there this must be a 2 3 pair so we've got 1 2 3 1 2 3 therefore those are 1 2 and 3 let's highlight these in a different color I'll make those green uh, oh hang on the 6 is now interesting how can this 6 be the 6 can't be 1 2 and 3 because we can't hide the 1 it can't given the 42 here if it's two cells it would have to be either this domino or this domino but that means 1 5 and 2 4 are impossible that just has to be a 6 that makes that square interesting now how what what clue is this square attached to it must attach to the 42 so I better start highlighting some of these I'll highlight those ones all in grey um, sorry about this I'm not quite sure maybe that square ah yeah this square in fact look this can't connect to the 18 because if it does the implication would be that 6 plus 18 plus 4 equals 45 which it doesn't the last time I looked so this can't connect to the 14 because that would just that's too many cells to add up to 14 so it must connect to the 22 so if it connects to the 22 ah yeah this is good because look um, I'm going to highlight this actually maybe not, maybe I'll make that darker I'll make that red um, so 22 how are we going to do that well look along the bottom we've got one two three and four already so the minimum I could make these squares would be five six and seven which add to 18 and the minimum I can make this square, which has a 1, 2, 3 in its row, is 4. So this, this in fact, has to be the minimum. So this is 4. There's a 4 over here. These two squares must be 8 and 9 to complete the row. These two squares, therefore, must be 5, 6 or 7 to complete the box. Oh. oh have I broken this oh no I haven't broken it I keep forgetting this yeah this 18 clue look we can't connect those two up because if we do that 17 and I need one more and I can't get it from anywhere that's why I was worried but it's not necessary for this to connect with this this could just go straight up and in fact it must just go straight up so that goes straight up there this goes straight up here and we know everything must connect to something in the grid a clue in the grid so this domino here it, it's only got one option it must connect here this must form a valid 14 cage 
Yes, it can just about. 8, 5, 1 is the only way. So this is 8, this is 5, this is 1. That must be 9 then. So this, these two together are a minimum of 14. A maximum of 16. Ah, right, okay, but look. This can't turn here. This can't take this cell because this cell's minimum value, in fact, it's not even, this is six or a seven. I didn't see, I just wasn't using the five pencil marks properly. Um, but, but this cell's minimum value look is six because there's already one, two, three, four, and five in the row. If we make this six and it gets taken in this cage, then we've got far too many. We've got 22, which is bigger than 18. So this must go vertically as well. 9, 6, 2 would be 17. Ah, but look, here, if this doesn't... If there is a fourth cell in this 18 cage, it has to be a 1. And we can't put a 1 as a fourth cell because there's a 1 in this row, a 1 in this row, and this one here takes care of all those cells, so you can't include a 1 as a fourth digit in this 18 cage. This this is the end of this cage. These two squares have got to sum up to 9, which is possible still in both ways. What a great puzzle so far. I'm enjoying this. I love puzzles like this. It's a bit like yesterday's where you have to sort of, you have to build it up. Um, and in fact, the day before's was similar as well. Okay, so what is it I'm meant to be appreciating now? I haven't got a Scooby-Doo. Um, 42 up here, so that, that could be missing two cells if it's missing a one and a two, or one cell if it's missing a three. So is it this square that we're meant to be focusing on now? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, ah, okay. So this, this, even if it's an eight cell cage, can't reach this cell anymore. And nothing else can get there apart from the 30, can it? 14, that's six. 16, that's six. We know six cells add to 21 as a minimum. So, the 36 can't get there, can it? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, no. So it must be this one. And in getting to this square and making them the same color, we have to make sure we don't isolate any other squares. So we basically have to hug the right hand side. We have to do this. That's forced. One, two, three, four, five, six. So this could have another cell because um, you could leave out two cells adding to 15 from the from a t well from a cage totaling 30 if it was seven cells you could have six and nine left out or um or seven and eight left out ah no no you can't actually look there's one you can't no, you can't, not in this instance, because this 30 cage, however, it, wherever its seventh cell is, if it has a seventh cell, which I'm now thinking it doesn't, but if it did have a seventh cell, that cell couldn't contain a one. And we then have to make 30 in seven cells without including a one. That's not possible. Because if we add two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight together, we get 35. And I know that not because I'm doing that uh, summation arithmetic very quickly, but just because I can see that doesn't contain the digits 1 and 9. If I know that the whole lot of the digits add to 45 and I deduct 1 and 9, I get 35. So that is not going to work. So this is a six cell region and it doesn't include a 1. Therefore, it also doesn't include two cells adding to 14 now. So it either hasn't got a 5 and a 9, or it hasn't got a 6 and an 8. Hmm. 
Okay. I guess this is meant to um Sure, this is meant to be important for some reason, but I really can't. Ah, ah, no, I've got something. I've got something. The 30 cage, it doesn't have a 6 or an 8, or it doesn't have a 5 or a 9. Therefore, it does have a 2, 3, and a 4. And we've got two, three, and four down here. So the two, three, and the four in the 30 cage, which we now know must be in it, must be up there. So I'm now wondering about these two cells and what they get attached to. I don't think they can get attached to the 14 anymore. And the reason is that the 14 has to come downwards to attach to these cells. And now we've got one, two, three, and four locked into these cells of box six. The minimum those two squares could be, in fact, the minimum those three squares could be would be five, six, and seven, and that's already broken that's 18 already. So in fact, the 14 can't even get to this square. So this square is interesting as well. So this square is, I, this yellow square is either belonging to the 16 or it's belonging to the 36. Uh, I'm not seeing how to do that very quickly anyway. Let's have a look somewhere else. Um, we've actually got a lot of um, a lot of relatively high numbers in these three columns. Look, we've got 45. 43, 35, so that's basically 33, 9 and 6 is 15, 48. So there's three more, there's 138 is the total for the given digits in, in columns 1, 2 and 3. So not... Hmm. Uh, the problem is that other other cages can bend in here and then this could bend out again. Uh, again, I can't quite see how that's working either. Although, if this 36 came down here, I wonder if that makes it impossible for it to get over here as well, and that would be useful. So 36, 37, 38, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. No, it could, st it could still be 8 cells large and come over like that, although that would block off the 45. Maybe that one then. And that would, no, that wouldn't block off the 35. Ah, this is very tricky. This is very tricky at this point, so I'm not actually quite seeing how to deduce the next number efficiently anyway. So what did we work out over here? We worked out this square, this 14 can't get to this square. This square is either with the 16 or is, is with the 36. So. 
Right, okay, so let's look at this square then. Because if this square partners up with the 16, then the 16, this will make a wall effectively, which shields the 36 from this square here. Which means that that square would also have to be in the 16. this doesn't work now nah, this is good this doesn't work because you can see which, whichever one of these squares I take to complete my 16 cage it's already broken and that's because five cells adding to 16 have to be the digits one two three four and six well this square here this could be a six there's already one two three four in the box but what can this square be this square can't be a one, two, three, or a four. So the minimum this could be would be a five. And you can't make 16 in five cells with a six and a five included in the sum. So, so this square is not part of the 16 cage. It's not part of the 14 cage. It can't be part. No, it can't be part of the 19 cage because that needs six cells to get to it. So this has to be part of the 36 cage, which means all of those squares are all the same color. And let's pick mm, blue for those. Um, two, three. Now this square may be so this, these two have to be five and six. If they're five, six, that would have to be seven, wouldn't it? So if these, the minimum value for those is five, six, seven. That's too many for it to connect to the 16. This also has to be part of the 36. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So, oh, hang on, hang on. Because this 36 comes down here, it can't get into the bottom of this region. So what can get into the bottom of this region? The 45 could get down there. The 35 can't get down there. It's, that would be too many cells. In fact, the 45 can't get to this. Yes, this square is, is, is key. This square, look, there's a one, two, three in this box already. This is brilliant setting. This square, therefore, has a minimum value of four. This square would have a minimum value of five. So this domino has a minimum value of nine. Therefore, it can't connect to that. So there is no way of making those three squares equal nine. This square is not part of the nine cage. So what cage is it part of? It can't be part of the 36 anymore, which I think it could have been for five, six, seven, eight. Yes, it could have been if there was no nine in the 36 cage. So this has to be part, this square has to be part of the 43 cage, which is green. I suspect I'm gonna have color trouble in a moment. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. So this is, so however this 43 cage looks, it basically, it comes down here, it pops out into column two for a while, and then it turns back in at some stage, I don't know where, it could be like that for example, but you can see however I draw this, all eight cells of the 43 cage, and then we know there are exactly eight cells, are taken up with it coming down here. So this square must be purple because it can't be green anymore. And this square, oh, can that, no, that can't, this, this one can't be part of the 36 because the 36 is going this way. It can't also come down here. So what gets to this square now? It can't be the 43 anymore because that needs all of its latitude to come down here and do this. It must be the 45, that's huge. That 45 comes down to this square. Oh, 
And now, now the column logic comes back in. Because when we added these totals together, we got three higher than 135. We got 138. So now nothing can come into these three columns from, from elsewhere in the grid. Therefore, there must be cells. In fact, it must be a single cell because this is already eight cells large. There must be one cell sticking out into column four here, which has a three in it. Um, donated, of course, by the 45 cage, because no other cage can can donate three to the rest of the grid. If we if we tried to to take the 45's last ninth cell into one of these white cells in column two, then the effect of that would be to draw an imaginary line down the grid like this, and these three columns would add up to 138, which is too many. They should add up to 135. So we know that the 3 is going to stick out this way. Therefore, therefore that square has got to be a 2. That's a 3. That must be a 7. We know that we need to make 18 here. That's a 6. Um, okay. Oh, I suppose another question we could ask is where does the 3 go in column 3? Given we know the 3 and the 45 is coming over here somewhere, it must be in this square. So that's a 3. This square can't be part of the uh, 45 anymore, so that must be part of the purple. These three squares are 6, 8, and 9 by Sudoku. Oh, hang on. I wonder if we can do some stuff with this, but let me just pencil over here. We need 4, 5, and 7 into those squares. Is that useful? Arr, no. These squares are also 6, 8, and 9. Uh, I feel like I can do something over there, but I can't see what it is, and I've spotted something over here. Right, let's look over here. These two squares can't both be 8 and 9, because that's going to break our 30 cage. We know the 30 cage in, is missing a 1, so it's missing either 8, 6 as well, or it's missing 9, 5. It can't have 8 and 9 in it. Therefore, this square must be an 8 or a 9. And that is beautiful, because that puts a 6 into the 30 cage. If there's a 6 in the 30 cage, there must also be an 8 in the 30 cage, and there cannot be a 9 in there. So the 9 must live here. 9 is here by Sudoku as a result of that. Look, where do we put a 9 in this box? It can only go there. 9 in one of those two squares at the top. These squares here are 5... Oh no, we still don't know. Oh, we can work out actually what the fourth digit is here. It must be a seven. That's a seven in one of those squares. So these squares have got to be five, six, and eight, I think. Let's put that in. And we know this square is not part. Ah, so is this square part of the 36 or is this square part of the 16? That is an interesting question. Oh, but it's, a, it's an answerable question because there's a nine in the 36 cage now. And if there's a nine in it, it can't be an eight cell cage anymore. Because if it's an, if it's an eight, the only way it can be an eight cell cage is if it's missing one digit and that digit would have to be a nine and it's not, the nine is in the 36 cage. So this is a seven cell cage, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Therefore, it can't take that square. That square is, is not part of the 14 and it's not part of the 36. It must be part of the 16. So that is another region we get to place. So if this was eight, six, I mean, maybe, maybe the 16 can be even bigger, can it? 
don't know, I have to think about that in a moment. I was about to say if this is a three cell region, I could start putting in options for this square, but it, maybe it could take that square as well. Ah, but it can't take this square. Now there is a very good reason it can't take this square. This square is a nine. <laughs> and that's because, look, we've got a nine here, a nine here, and a nine here. Now we can't repeat a digit in a cage, so neither of those squares can be nine. This can't be nine. This can't be nine. Those can't be nine. If we put a nine in the 16 cage, it's broken. Because as the minimum I could make those two squares would be five and six. That's already too many. So this square is the only option for a nine. Now once this is a nine, it can't be part of the 16 cage. Um, because again, the minimum we can make those two is five and six. So this is the limit of the 16 cage. Five and six would repeat a five in it. So this is not a five, six pair. There must be an eight. That's not an eight, therefore. Eight and five would put, ah, eight and five would put three here. That's not possible. So it must be eight and six. That does work. This is a two. That's a five. That's a five. That's a seven then. This must be two, three, and four in some order. Uh, fours are not in those squares, look. Twos are not in those squares. This can't have an, this 36 can't have another nine in it, so it must come around there and it's actually forced. That's the seven cells we need for this shape. Ah, and there can't be a two in the 36 shape because this two here sees in effect all of the open positions. So it's missing nine cells totaling nine in two cells. So it's now missing a two and a seven. So there must be a seven in one of those two cells. That's not a seven then. Can't see what that can be. Is that a two that's pencil marked in there? Yeah, I think that's a two or a three. Ah, but where does three go in the central box with this three here? It must be, it can't be in the same cage. It must be up here. And in fact, that fixes it as being there. That's a three, that's a seven. That's a two, therefore. This is not two. That two fixes the two and the three down here. What a puzzle this is. This is just absolutely brilliant. Right, so we can pencil these in as a three and a four. That, that two down here fixes these as a three and a four. This six fixes the six and the eight down at the bottom. Now, if we look down here, look, we we know these squares are two, seven, and eight in some order, just to complete the column. We know these two are five and nine to complete the column. There must be a one in one of those two squares because of this one here. So there's a one in one of these two cells. The three, this has a three in it somewhere and we know it's in one of those two squares because it can't overlap with the 26 total, 26 cage. So the three is in one of those two cells now. So it matches up with the threes look there. So we know there's a three in one of those. So if we look at this box, the three is definitely locked into row two or row three. In this box, it's locked into row two or row three and it will be part of the gray cells. So the three must be in one of those two cells. Oh, that's not very easy to see. I'll put it in the center there. Oh, now that is bizarrely helpful because this can't be a five cell region now because it's got a three in it. The only way this could be a five cell 35 cage is if it's five, six, seven, eight, and nine, and it's not. So it must take another cell. Now that might be helpful because yes, now that has to do that. It has to, oh, has to take those cells. It's got to turn down because it can't hit the nine. It's got to go down again. And now this square, 
this square is isolated. This little white square here, this can't be part of another region. It's got to be part of the green region. One, two, three. And that gives us our eight cells. That's the eight cells we needed for the 43. So this is a this is a two cell. Um, this is a two cell nine region. So this square here has to be two, four or five. And wow, how is that not helpful? How? Goodness, it doesn't seem to be helpful. I'm not, at least I'm not quite seeing how it is helpful if it is. Um, well, we've got some more stuff to fill in here though, haven't we? Look, we've got a 14 cage I've not looked at at all, apart from to rule that square out of it. So that could just be the 14 cage like that. But does it need to be like that? So if it went up, we mustn't isolate this cell now. So this cell would have to connect to the red. Ah, that doesn't work. Right, so if this goes up like this, uh, let me shade it in with uh, green. If this is a green, if this, uh, if the 14 doesn't take the nine, it must go up vertically. It doesn't take the nine, so the only group that can take the nine is the red. So the red would have to connect here, which isolates this square, which would also have to be red. And now look carefully at this red region. It has a five nine pair and another nine in it. Now that's not going to work. So actually, we can say very simply these two squares are connected. They are a 14 cage. Um, so we've got the nine, uh, 19 cage here. That could just be those cells. Right. Um. Sorry about this. I am a little bit stuck. Maybe three, four over here, one, four, six, eight into these squares. That just does not look helpful. One, four, six, eight. That can't be a one because that will break the 35 total. Four, six, eight. In fact, we can work out what these squares are as well, aren't they? They're going to have to be uh, one, five, six, and eight. One, no, one, four, five, six, and eight. So let's put that in. One, four, five, six, and eight. See if we can see anything. That one, therefore, is a bit restricted. That's got to be a four or a six. That can't be a four or a six or a one, actually. That one can't be a one. Oh. Oh, good grief. That is not easy. Look. Those four squares have got to be four, five, six, and eight. They are a four, five, six, eight quadruple. So this square can't be a four. That's got to be a three. That's got to be a four. That's not four anymore. Four, five, six, eight, quadruple. So this square can't be a four or a five. That's a two. That makes that one a seven. Two fixes the two and the one. It's got to be a two up there, look. Where do you put seven? In the green. Where do you put seven in the green? It's got to have a green. It's got to have a seven in it. It's only lacking a two. And this seven sees those, those, that seven sees that one. That's got to be a seven. 
So there's a 7 up there as well. So this square should be a right in. That's got to be a 9 to complete the row. That's not 9, therefore. Uh, <laughs> wow, what a puzzle this is. Threes, maybe? I've got a three here and a three here, so there must be a three in one of those two cells. Same up there, look, a three in the same two columns of the grid. There must be a nine in one of these two cells. So Ah, it's not quite enough. Gosh, this is this is really difficult for me. Um, I'm not spotting anything good at all. Come on, brain, wake up. I'm going to blame the heat. Um, there's no two in this region. But this two here is, uh, it's not the twos, that's not what I'm missing. Six, seven, four here, three here. Locks threes into those two squares. Four here, four here, that's not useful either. The three from this one has to be one of those two, that's fine. This square, I guess, has to join up with that square. We'll make that purple. The 1, the 6, the 42. Is that where I'm meant to be looking now? I don't know. The 42 is... I mean, I know it doesn't... Actually, it would be useful to know whether that is in... If this is in the 42, then I would know the 42 contains a 2, and that would be helpful. Um, because then I would know that it was missing a 3 rather than a 1 and a 2, which is a possibility at the moment. So maybe this square, is that the one I'm meant to focus on? What can reach this square? It can't be the 12, that's too difficult. It could be the 19. So if it's the 19 that gets here... That would have to then be a 5, 7. These would have to add up to 7, 2, 4, 1. That does look possible, actually. It's probably, therefore, likely, given how constrained the grid is at this point. So if this was true, this, would ha this red region has to come out. Oh, that's not going to work. No, that's not going to work. Let's just highlight this to show you. If the, if the 19 takes this square, the 42 region has to come out. It's got to either be 7 or 8 cells. So it comes out to here, and it's got to take one more cell. But the 12 region must be at least 2 cells, so that has to come to here. The 26 region has to be at least 4 cells, I guess. Um, and that there's just no space. If it takes those four space cells, there's no space for the se seventh cell in the 42 region. So this is wrong. This is just not right at all. So that means that this square has to be part of the 42 region. That is huge, hopefully. So now we've got... We now know we're looking at an eight cell region for the 42 cage. Ah, uh, hang on. I don't know if I considered those two cells correctly. Let me just make those white again. I'm just going to double check my logic there because I don't want to make a mistake. Um, I'll make those purple. These come out as red. This has to be a two cell region. This, oh no, it still works because this this four cell region encloses this one. So that is that was correct. Um, redo. So these two cells... So it does look like this is going to be the 19 region, but I still can't assume that to be the case. Um, so 
So whichever one this takes, whichever way this goes, it can't take both of these cells because one of them will be a three. So if it takes, and it needs to have a one in it now as well. Oh, oh, and it needs to have a six in it. And where on earth is it getting that from? There's no six possible in any of those cells. So it must be extending all the way to column five to get its six, to pick up its six. And the only two places it can get a six from in column five are these two places. And this one is impossible because if it gets a six from this square, it becomes a nine cell region. So it doesn't get a six from here. It gets a six from here. And if it gets a six from here, you can see it's got to just get to this square by the most efficient route, which is straight across. That is forced. This therefore has to be a four, not a three. This has to be the one it needs. And now, yeah, now we might be getting somewhere. That's a four. We can remove the fours there and there. This. Oh, oh, now look. Now we've got to put this gray three in. If we put it there, this cell becomes isolated. So the gray three goes there. This is a three. Which actually we probably could have got by Sudoku anyway, but um, never mind. Okay, so we're nearly there, I think, but we're still not quite there. We've got to figure out this square can't be part of the 12 because to, for it to be so, the 26 would be too small. So these two squares are the same color. The 26 is at least four cells large. I'm going to run out of room here if I'm not very, very careful. So it's, is that possible? These two would have to add up to nine. That's not possible. So this cannot, this square, I think has to be part of the 26 because those, that as an option is not gonna work. And we can't make it four cells because you can't include a one in the total because there's ones here and here. So these cells have to be blue. These two squares have to be the last color, which I'll make, uh, I'll make them orange. So let's look at this column now. We need, we need to put a seven and a two in. Ah, well that fixes that. That's gotta be a seven, that's gotta be a two, that's gotta be a five. That fixes the five and the nine. This isn't seven anymore. These squares here have got to be four, eight, and nine. The nine must live here, therefore. These are four and eight. That should be massive in terms of its effect on the central box, look. We can take eight out of all those squares immediately. That fixes the eight and the six. Gives us a five here. Oh, please, come on. That's not two anymore. Good grief, it's still holding up. I think I must be missing something here. There must be a cage I've not focused on or something because I feel like all the logic I've done, ah, this, well, this 19 cage is just given now. Let's just fill it in to make sure that we're, um, we have a completely colored grid. Let's check the 26 total is right. 14 and, yeah, that's working nicely. So I think this grid is correct at this point. I just can't see how to finish it. Um, maybe more Sudoku, six. There must be a six in one of these squares. There must be a five in one of these squares. Oh, 
What is it that I'm missing here? It's another monstrously long video, but this is a this is a tricky puzzle today. It really is. Let's look at this row then. We need one, three, five, and six. So this has to be a one, five, or a six. One, three, five, and six. Nines. The 35 cage in six cells has got to have a nine in it. It can only go here, so that might be useful. That fixes this one as a nine. So we now need two, ah, that must be an eight now by Sudoku. Please let that be the key thing. So this is not eight anymore. This can only be two or seven. Eight can be removed as an option from here because this is part of the same cage. Six, eight. You can get rid of the sixes as an option from this box. That's not eight either. So this box now, that's looking good. It doesn't, it doesn't have a two in it. This must be an eight by Sudoku. So this box here, 35, it, it's missing three cells. So three cells have got to add up to 10. Ah, and it doesn't have a two in it, look. It doesn't have a two in it. And it doesn't have a seven in it. So it doesn't have a one in it. Oh my goodness me. It doesn't have a one in it. So where does the one go? If there's no one here, this square has to be a one. Good grief. Now, that might be helpful, maybe. <laughs> um, so these two squares have got to be a two seven pair therefore, because this can't contain one, two or seven. So that means that's the seven, that's the two. These two squares have got to be, that two fixes that this is the eight, yes. That fixes the eight and the four. These have to be three and six, which is now resolvable. Goodness, it was just focusing on what was missing from this 35 cage, I think, that was the, the trick that I wasn't seeing. Um, that two seven is now fixed, look. These two squares have got to be four and five in some order. Let's check the totals working. We've got nine, 18, 26, and nine more. That is working. So we should, unless I'm missing something, be able to resolve this at this point. Um, What is the thing I'm missing? We've got four, ah, four five pair in column two. So this becomes a one, does it? That fixes the one and the six. Yes, the five, the four. Oh, I pressed the wrong buttons there. Do not press the wrong buttons at this point of a solve. Four, six, five, four. This has to be a three. This has to be a four. Yes. Wow, what a puzzle that was. Guys, I don't know whether I was slow. I think I was very slow with the 35 cage, but there was a lot of beautiful logic. No feet McGee. I like your pseudonym and I loved your puzzle. Thank you very much for watching and we'll be back later with another edition of Cracking the Cryptic.